This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. More on that later. Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. Today we are going to be creating a snow scene using Apple Motion. This is massively inspired by Ignace Ayeras, amazing tutorial for After Effects, and I just tried to bring some of that info into the world of Apple Motion. So let's get started. First thing is first, go ahead, open up Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, N. From there, go ahead and push Import as project. And today we're going to be using a scene from Envato Elements, our sponsor. The first thing we're going to want to do is select our clip and push K. That is going to create a clone layer and we can just call this the snow layer. From there, go on up to your filters and go down to color and we're going to select colorize and we're done. Um, so go ahead, select your remap to white and we're going to jump over to these crayons and we'll just select the snow color and then I just want to ever so slightly push that to the blue tones. After that, select your remap black and we are just going to select the licorice black setting here. And then from there, we can actually select our snow layer. Once again, I'll get rid of these colors, go to the filters, go to color, and we are going to select levels. Now this is what's really going to drive our snow effect. So if I drag our black areas down, we can get a little bit more contrast and then we'll take our gray areas and drag that up. So we just want enough contrast so that our trees actually look like trees. And we can drag up our whites to really get some bright white out of this. So now that we've done that, go ahead and select your snow layer and go into your blend mode. From there, we're gonna select the lighten blend mode. Now this is going to be so immensely subtle. If I actually adjust my levels here, you can kind of see what it's doing. So I'll drag these down. You can see that as it gets dark, darker, the snow effect kind of turns into color. So it's very, very subtle. It's just to help with those really tiny detailed areas. So once you've got your levels set there, we'll drag it down just so it's not quite so intense. Once you're happy with that, go ahead, select your snow layer, go into your filters, select blur. And this time we're going to add in a Gaussian blur. And we're just gonna set this to a very low level, something like two points. It's just very subtle, but it helps with the effect. The next thing we want to do is select our snow layer, go into our filters and find the glow effect. And that is just because snow usually is so bright that there is a subtle glow to it. What we will do is drag our radius up considerably and then take our opacity way down. And that's just gonna give it a very, very nice little subtle glow effect. You definitely don't wanna go too heavy with this. But if you get the radius way up and take your opacity down, it's actually going to give it kind of a nice haze. And I think I've got my levels a little too intense. We wanna back them off just a bit so that it's not so immensely bright and glowy. Perfect, we've now got kind of a misty, snowy scene going on. So the last thing that we're gonna want to do is actually bring in some nice snowfall elements. And that is where our sponsor Envato Elements is coming in really, really clutch. So here's the deal with Envato Elements. I know they're sponsoring me, I have to say good things about them. But let me tell you, even if they were not sponsoring this channel, I would be recommending Envato Elements to everyone. Their platform is so, so helpful to video creators and to photographers and to graphic designers it is just so mind-blowing all the stuff they have on there I use it from making fun Christmas cards all the way to professional video production for broadcast television so let me tell you you definitely need to be picking up Envato Elements if you want to take your video production to the next level and if you use my link you will be getting 50% off the annual plan so go hit that up all right, back to the tutorial. So we're gonna push Command I. I'm just gonna bring in this real snow that I found on there and we can scale this up to 200%. We'll change our blend mode over to screen and then we are going to drop the opacity like crazy. We want this so subtle, but um, just so that you catch hints of it as you look around the screen. Um, in fact, I still think it's too intense. You're mostly going to see it in front of the trees here. So I'll just keep playing and you can barely see it, but it really adds to the effect of realism. I don't even know if this is showing up in YouTube, but if it is, it's really helping sell the effect. And if you keep it so subtle, people are going to believe that it's actually 3D. So one last subtle thing I might do is I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna create a big fat rectangle over the top here. 
and I'm going to jump into the shape settings, disable the outline and drag the feather up like crazy. And we can go into our properties and I can drop down the opacity so that it's just barely there. So this is going to create a really subtle mist effect over the ground of our snow just to bring it into the world of realism just a little bit more. That about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you might also really like this tutorial about creating 3D volumetric lighting in your videos.